Hello again everybody. This time I want to show you how to use your GNS3 software to run a virtual SRX device. As you can see I already have a greedy really tutorial where I explain step by step how to set up your virtual SRX device. But this video is intended for those people who prefer videos than greedy really tutorials of course. The first thing you need is your virtual SRX hard drive. This one I found it on Juniper.net. Basically, you need an account, and once you download your virtual SRX hard drive, you just have to set up a new virtual machine. As you can see, I already have three folders here that match my three virtual SRX machines I already have configured. Thus, the idea here is to set up a new virtual machine. In this case, I will name it BSRX. And the type of machine that I use is BSD and the version is 64 bits. Then when I click on next I will assign at least one gigabit of memory to this virtual machine. And then I will click next again and I will be requested for the hard drive. What I will do is go back to the list of folders. As you can see I already have a folder for my new BSRX and I will basically drag and drop my hard drive into this folder like this. This is just to keep my stuff organized of course. Then I will go back to my virtual my virtual machine configuration and I will use an existing virtual hard drive file. And I will browse for it as you can see. And I will just select it like this. And finally, I will create my virtual SRX machine. Then my folder will be populated with the virtual SRX.bvox uh, file. And next, what I will do is go to my GNS3 software. I already have a lab running. I mean, I don't have any on the lab, but this is a safe project. And I will go to file, I'm sorry, to edit preferences. I will go to the VirtualBox section and I will just import the virtual machine I just set up. Here it is. And next. Before to start the virtual the virtual SRX, I will just do a couple of things. Well, I will change the icon very quickly. Something uh, similar to the others. And I will assign more adapters, of course. You can play a little with the type of network cards. The one I use is Para Virtualized Network. This is the one I have found. It's wor it, it works with uh, the, the Virtual SRX. I will click OK and I will close all this stuff. Now you, will, you should be able to find the, the new virtual machine in your list of devices. As you can see I have it here. I will just drag and drop and I will start it. Let's wait a, a little. As you can see it's starting just like a virtual machine, a simple virtual machine. This is a brand new machine. Of course if you have another virtual machine already running you just have to clone it it's easier but if you don't have any virtual machine any virtual SRX machine running you have to set up a new one it's, it's like the, the long way let's wait a little, a little bit to set up to, to finalize and ok I have the login since this is a new machine, I don't have a password, as you can see. And we'll go to the CLI. As you can see, I don't have any any interface. And if that happens to you, as just happened to me, I will show you a trick here. Let's power off this machine here. Let's power off it here too and I will go to the 
VirtualBox Manager again. I will go to Settings and in the System, in the System tab, I will assign at least two CPUs to the machine. Let's click OK and let's go back to the the virtual SRX machine on my GNS3 project. Let's start it again and of course wait again just to start. Should be should be fast to start as as in my case. Of course it will also depend of the resources you have on your physical machine, right? It is important to know that every change, every single change that you do on this uh, machine will be permanent, right? This is not like the Cisco says that you have running with Chemo because basically the configuration with the ASAs in Chemo are separated between labs. In this case, since we are using a virtual machine, all the changes will be permanent. This means that if you use your virtual SRX, you put some configuration on it, you commit it, and you close all your lab, and you open another lab, you will have the old configuration there. Let's do it one more, show, show interfaces stores and I have the interfaces here. You can see I have the G000, the 1, 2 and 3 because I added 4 interfaces. This is the way to run a SRX if you don't have anyone, any, any uh, virtual SRX running already. If you have a SRX running, it is simpler. Just go to the machine you want you have and just clone it like this virtual SRX clone of course you have to do a full clone because you want to have another hard drive okay and let's do a full clone let's just change the name virtual SRX 02 full clone and now I should have that one here. Virtual SRX. Where are you? Virtual SRX 02, like this. As you can see, I already have another hard drive and another B box file. And basically, we have to do exactly the same in the GNS3. Just go here, edit, preferences, virtual box, tab, U. And import it. That's all that you have to do. I hope you enjoy this this uh, quick tutorial for running uh, SRX. Uh, this is useful if you are planning to do any uh, to if you are pursuing any certification in Juniper like GNCIA or GNS, GNCA Sec. Uh, please share your comments and join my channel if you like. Thanks thanks a lot uh, again for watching.